Sister Esili Danto, Timak Kepera Radio. Welcome. Thank you. How are you, sister? I'm good, thank you. I'm okay. Good. Sister, I just uh, told the uh, people that we're going to have an interview with you. Maybe you can start by introducing yourself, and then we can start talking about my favorite item for tonight, Haiti. What I have called the Avatar Conspiracy, and we will talk a little bit about Haiti. Go and introduce yourself, sister. Thank you. Thank you so very much for having me, and I do appreciate the opportunity to give voice to the helpless in Haiti. Um, my name is Esli Dapto. I am the head of the Haitian Lawyers Leadership Network. It's an organization uh, made up of grassroots uh, organizations in Haiti and across the diaspora abroad. Our mission, in the, since we have, were founded in 1994, is to institutionalize the rule of law, defend and protect the cultural, economic, and um, dignity of the Haitian people. That's, that's what the Haitian Lawyers Leadership is about. Um, we have a, a very large presence on the internet, on Haitian radio, and on various uh, Haiti forums where we present what is different than what you will read about Haiti in the mainstream press. We call it the counter-colonial narrative. Hello, are you there? Yes, sister. Hello? Sister, I'm here. You, see, you hear me? You hear me? Yes, yes. Sir. Okay. Yes, yes. Sometimes uh, I have some difficulties with the microphone, but I, hear, I think you can hear me now? Yes, I can hear you now. Okay, sister, you know, when I called you to, tonight, I told you that uh, they didn't spend much uh, time to talk about what is happening now on Haiti. But I came to find out a commercial station had shown some uh, footage. But can you explain to us what is happening these days in Haiti, start, starting from this last Sunday? What is happening over there at this moment? OK. Very important, actually. The day that today is critically important in Haitian history. And it's a critical day for us, and I'm very happy to be sharing it with your audience in Holland. November 18th, 1803, was the Battle of Veltier for Haitians. It was the final defining battle where they beat where Africans who had been enslaved and dehumanized and called half-human and breaded like mares and um, destroyed for 300 years because for those who don't know, Haiti is, is the place where Columbus first uh, 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 stepped into the so-called New World and um, after his genocide with the Tainos who were the uh, original population and the original population, the Taino um, uh, meridians, uh, called the, the island Haiti, which means my sacred homeland. and um, uh, African enslaved Africans were brought to Haiti in 1503, and it wasn't until November 18, 1803, 300 years later, that the Africans who became Haitians in the land of the Tainos, they were outnumbered, outgunned, and they did what Spartacus could not do. They were the first enslaved people to 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 not assimilate with their with their oppressors but to call on their, their own God, their own inner sources, and beat in combat the most powerful European armies of that time. And they beat the British, they beat the Spanish, they beat the French. And the French had colonized this portion of the island that was called Saint-Domingue, which is now Haiti. And uh, November 18th, 1803 is significant for us because it is that time when Jean-Jacques Dessalines, Haiti's founding father, along with the other African warriors who took up arms and protected their dignity and the humanity, took this, the, 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 took back the, the, really the dignity for the entire so-called race of blacks because all of the other islands around them Jamaica, Cuba, uh, Latin America, 
everyone who was black and from Africa were enslaved. And obviously, you know, also they were enslaved in the Americas. So we uh, did what was what was impossible to do, what had never been done in, in Haitian in, in, in human history before, um, and and what. The Haitians did in 1803 on that battlefield is, is, is what today, at this very moment, as I speak to you, that my folks are doing in Haiti right now. They have risen up against the powerful UN army, the, 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 the US, Canada, and France, who came back to re enslave and re colonize Haitians in 2004. They've been there now for over six years just making money after money, never never doing anything to help the population of Haiti. And so today there is a lot of riots. There is a lot of burning of, 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 of things because, um, as your audience may know, um, on October 19th of this year, the first case of cholera was recorded in Haiti. Haiti has never had cholera before, and there is significant, overwhelming, reasonable evidence that that cholera was imported by the humanitarians who, so-called humanitarians, who came to Haiti to, so, to, to supposedly give us um, 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 uh, democracy and stability, um, but, but all of that is, is what the Haitian lawyers leadership always points to the world to say um, um, the UN is acting on behalf of the World War II powers and the, the, the balance of power nations and um, Haiti is a country without a parent. It, it, unlike Jamaica, for instance, it doesn't have Britain. Unlike Martinique, it doesn't have France. Unlike uh, 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 some of these other countries, it doesn't have Holland. I, I, I can't remember which 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 island is, is Holland, but I think it's the Antilles. The Antilles. The Antilles. The Antilles. The Antilles. Yes. Yeah. And, and so, so, so formally. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, so 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 we we are sort of um, uh, this tiny piece of Africa that is left all by itself in a hostile American Mediterranean where the European powers vie for power, and um, Haiti happens to sit between sort of, uh, your audience might want to think about it as a horseshoe going out westwards, um, and, and at the top of the horseshoe, think of it, is, is right across from us is Cuba, and at the bottom of the horseshoe, right under us, is Venezuela. Mm -hmm. We are we we are in those waters, and the United States obviously um, has had uh, uh, decades of trying to uh, make Cuba a client state, uh, destroy uh, the 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 oil rich Venezuela to its so to its um, system of what it calls democracy, which we at the Haitian Lawyers Leadership call. The, the rule of monopolies, um, the rule of corporate welfare. Um, so, so, so Haiti is that weakest link in that sort of um, of a crescent, and sits upon the oldest landmass in the hemisphere. It's mountains after mountains, and in those mountains are some of the purest, purest of um, minerals that the United States have come to use and take out. Since 2004, that the oil companies have come to use and exploit, but they hide it all behind the racist narrative that somehow Haitians are the most violent people, the Haitians are the most corrupt people, and that they, because of their infighting, they are responsible for their poverty. We talk about the facts. We, we, we at the Haitian Lawyers Leadership, those who are interested in the facts and not the colonial narrative, those who want to know the truth about Haiti's riches and what the, the UN is masking, oh, you can go to our website at ezeli.org.com. You could put in Haiti's riches, and you will see the companies that are in Haiti since 2004 when Bush administration, now that's Bush the son, George uh, 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 Ouster, President Jean-Bertrand Aristide and deported him back to Africa, where he has been for the last six, seven, six years, since 2004, 
and um, and, and behind the mask of bringing us um, uh, uh, stability, democracy. Now they, they destroyed our democracy because President Aristide was the first democratically elected president um, in Haiti's history. But Bush, the father, uh, in 1991, unseated him because he he raised the minimum wage. He wanted to have communal c community police. He didn't want to privatize the state assets. He wanted to increase the state uh, 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 public sector so that he could bring the people from, from this awful poverty to dignity by using the assets of the country to elevate the people's standard. But that is not what America and the Europeans wanted. They, they, the, 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 not, and I'm talking about the American people per se. I'm talking about the policymakers and the corporate interests that they represent. Those corporate re in interests used Haiti, for instance, um, the pharmaceutical, com pharmaceutical companies, the oil companies, the, um, the NGOs. There are more charitable organizations in Haiti per capita than any other place in the world. We at the Haitian Lawyers Leadership call them the poverty pimps, masturbating on black pain. They will, they will go to all sorts of different unsuspecting folks in foundation and say that they're putting together a, 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 a orphanage or that they're bringing us clean water. As you know, um, um, there's not one pipe or one infrastructure that has been laid in the six years that the UN has had control of Haiti. During the January 12, 2010 earthquake, help was already in Haiti, but if you look at all of the footages, you don't see one UN troop who was already there. There were 9,000 of them already there, um, lifting up one piece of rubble to save a Haitian. So, so that's basically what our scenario looks like in Haiti. And at the Ezeli's Haitian Lawyers Leadership, we are a Haitian-led organization that try to explain to folks that there are more violence per capita in Washington, D.C., where Congress sits. There is more HIV in Washington, D.C., where Congress sits, 2.2, I believe. I'm sorry, 3.0 per, per, uh, 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 is, is the rate of HIV in Washington, D.C., um, um, whereas in Haiti it's 2.0, and in, in, in Washington, D.C. it's 3.0. And there's more, for instance, you know, HIV in the Bahamas than there is in Haiti. There's more violence in America, more violence in Mexico and Colombia and Brazil and um, all of the Caribbean nations than there is in Haiti. These are facts. These are U.S. facts, U.N. facts that your audience can, 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 can actually go and Google. You can go to my website. You'll see the facts. But the image that we get from the mainstream media, because that image allows them to rake in Haiti's a fiscal paradise. Everybody expects us to be incompetent, violent, almost you know, cannibalistic and so so forth. They have demonized our religion, Vodun. I'm a Voduist. Um, Vodun to them is is some sort of demonic uh, 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 spirituality. But for us, it's a way of life, and 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 most Haitians are, have practiced it. It is what in on August 14th, 1791, when the Great Have Revolution. Haitian Revolution began, the reason why the Haitians were able to uh, beat four European armies when they were illiterate, outgunned, outarmed, and for 300 years had been breaded like mares, had been destroyed in, 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 in providing the Europeans with with the wood, for instance, the, the, the cathedrals you see in, in, in France, the cathedrals you see in Spain, all of that wood came from uh, the pillage of Haiti, um, um, the gold in the coffers of the Catholic Pope, um, 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 the dye in, in the, uh, the pictures in Versailles came from trees that came out of Haiti. Um, and so, so that plunder, that destruction, that, that, that genocide, which began the so-called New World, um, started in Haiti. And today, it's a, it's a, Haitians have been fighting 
uh, uh, since they landed in the New World, and that is a story you will never, never hear. You will never hear about the fact that we are less violent than, than, than for instance, the, the Brazilians who have who who are part of what they call Minister. Minister is the UN contingent that landed in Haiti in 2004 at the request of the Americans and a joint effort to 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 to, to continue what Bush the first had started in 1991, which was the coup d'état to bring back dictatorship to Haiti. Because dictatorship is fairly when the United States um, backs strong men in a country. It, it, it's easier for them to control the people's resources because that's basically what Africa and, and countries of the South that have absolutely no European father or colonizer, neo-colonialism um, are for. You know, in the Congo, they're doing the same thing, basically excavating the people's wealth uh, 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 and mineral coltan and, 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 and so forth. But they will tell you that it's all about the, the, the violent Congolese. Same thing with Haiti. They are excavating our gold right now. There are, there are, there are Canadian companies on Haiti doing it, American companies in Haiti doing it, without any, any, any regard to how that would affect our ecology. So, so that's the scenario. There's less violence in Haiti. The corruption in Haiti is brought to us by the international community who who the, the colonial blueprint is that they subcontract out assembly plants and court, uh, uh, and work for from US multinationals and other multinationals to this 0.5% light skin white Haitians who 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 they've given power to and who operate on behalf of empire and that 0.5% the Haitian oligarchy are the most corrupt, most greedy, and the United States uh, and France and Canada um, 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 support the monopolies of the Haitian oligarchy. And whenever the Haitian people stand up and say, listen, we want the assets of our country to be used for health care, for water treatment plants, for sewage treatment plants, for, for, for electricity, for schools, um, the United States says you, this, the best economic way is to leave that to the private sector. That's never helped Haiti, and so they're always afraid that we're going to follow the road of uh, Cuba or Venezuela. So they came, for instance, in do, doing 48 hours after the earthquake, 20,000 U.N. troops, excuse me, U.S. troops landed in Haiti. Um, they did not help save Haitians. And I, I think um, you already know, your listeners already know, that the Haitian earthquake of January 12, 2010, was the worst, at that time they said, natural disaster in world history in 33 seconds. 300,000 Haitians were dead. And uh, I can tell you, I was in Haiti a couple of days later, uh, we 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 are based in Haiti and in New York. Um, we lost more than half of our people who were in Port-au-Prince. I spent about six months uh, either trying to locate the folks that we were we, who were our collaborators, connecting with them, or going to funerals or doing um, 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 just remembrances. And today, November 18th, is one of our big remember remembrances. If we were not a spiritual people, we would have absorbed the evil of those who try to destroy us. But because we are a spiritual and voodooist people, we do not allow <clears throat> our bodies to be inhabited by the evil that has tried to eternally put us in hell. We, 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 today, for instance, Nabozele Gedeo, that means we are calling the Gede, the, 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 all of the dead, all that, that, all of the energies that we do not see. Um, um, today we call them up. We call the ancestors. We call the ancestors who stood up, um, doing, um, their chair, the last battle. 
we call them because we know we do not walk alone. We know in Haitian cosmology and Haitian Vodun, we uh, um, um, we 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 all believe you know in, in Adam's rib and this is how woman was made and original sin or heaven and hell and. 40 virgins and you know the, those 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 ideological abstracts are, are not Haitian but we 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 believe that our ancestors stand with us that death is not the worst uh, thing that can happen to a human being in life mm -hmm. that the worst thing that can happen to you in life is not to extend love because sacred energy that's what Vodou mean in the Fon African language it means sacred energies and extending sacred energies. And so today, on November 18th, 2010, we are under occupation. All the nations have come back again mm -hmm. to, 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 to destroy us, to, to make us into a tourist environment where we become uh, maid butlers and, and prostitutes for the northern tourists who come and, and own land and, and so forth. I mean, that's, that's their vision of development. And Haitians are peasant farmers. There's about 6 million Haitian peasant farmers. They want to continue to have their lifestyle of, of family-orientated combit where they collectively work together. But U.S. policies have destroyed Haitian agriculture. And so that's basically what the scenario is in Haiti. I would um, encourage those who are interested in learning more of, of, from a Haitian uh, organization from a Haitian perspective um, to go to my website and to um, um, my um, uh, the, the, the most uh, up-to-date information is on our blog so you can google Ezeli Dantal blog or if you go to ezelidantal.com you see the, 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 the link for the blog and you can follow us and um, that's the scenario uh, Aunt. okay sister uh, sister Yes, I'm here. Uh, there is one thing what I really want to know. Like what happened when after the earthquake in uh, January, many children were taken away. Do you know why they went for these children and what happened? Do you as Haitian know where all these children went to? Uh -huh. No, we don't know where all the children went to. And the trafficking in Haitian children, um, just like it, it happened in, in, in Asia after the tsunami, um, predators, I mean, there are predators in the world. And those predators, a lot of them have official titles. A, a lot of them work for those NGOs, the, the non-for-profits who, who have come to Haiti. i uh, uh, give you an example. There was a woman, her name is uh, uh, Sibley. She, she, she took a busload of Haitians, just like uh, Haitian children, um, um, outside to the Dominican Republic and had set up an orphanage where she had uh, folks in the north who were looking for children. I mean, folks that are, that are legitimately looking to, to, to adopt. She took those children right off of the street um, right after the earthquake and when those children were traumatized and, and looking for their parents. And, um, and, and, and had no permission from their parents, from their families, and she was going to sell them $10,000 a pop to, to folks around the world who, 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 who want children. And, and that scenario is one, one example. Now, she was actually caught, but she was only caught because she was not working with a high enough up there legitimate um, so-called uh, charity organization because it's the big ones that are doing it in Haiti under cover of, of helping the children. Um, the statistics I've heard is that uh, there's a lot of um, uh, Haitians, I think up to, well, it's definitely over 500,000 Haitians that have now um, are, are, have crossed over the border by forced or through some sort of a middleman uh, predator who are using them for sexual um, um, trafficking and that, that sort of thing where they're put in broth, brothels all over the world. It, this is happening right now. Mm -hmm. Sister, there is also uh, what was really amazing but I came to find out by research. The Israelis, the army was 
also on Haiti. I came to find out they were there to pick up bodies from the black people who died within 20, 72 hours, to take out organs and blood samples and all kinds of stuff, and also to uh, take away uh, melanin for, uh, let's say, for when, uh, people who want to inject themselves with melanin for different reasons to get uh, a darker tan. But what was, have you heard of that? What, what, what they were doing there, over there, the Israeli army? I, you know, I have heard it. I, I don't know too much to speak of it in confidence. Okay. But um, I, I really, I don't know. I, I think I know as much as you have. I, I've read about it mm -hmm. and I've heard it. Okay. Um, I do, I, I, I know in general that um, our body parts, for instance, in the 80s, they, the, they use Haitian blood because this is the thing that people must understand. Um, Haitians have been, when we got our independence in 1804, because in 1803, like I said, November was when um, um, we did our last battle. By January of 1804, uh, Haiti had declared its independence, and, and it's, that, that is the official date of our independence. Jean-Jacques Dessalines, our founding father, was, what happened was the French, the, 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 there was the, the mulattoes, which were the, 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 the sons and daughters of France, who had at the very last minute, because they didn't fight at the Battle of Vertier. Many of them didn't didn't fight, like um, Pétion uh, and Boyer. They became, a, you know, with these mulattoes, what they did, though, is when the African warriors won their independence, they made a deal with Jean-Jacques Dessalines, and they all showed up on January 1st and signed the, the Declaration of Independence. However, these light-skinned, Europeanized Haitians had, had really come back with the armada uh, of, of Napoleon to re-enslave Haitians because they were always used as the mediators that went and kept, caught the slaves on behalf of the Haitians. They were the sons and daughters of raped black women or, 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 or black women that were made into prostitutes. And they were educated in France, and they always thought themselves better than the, the African masses that were not mixed blood. Mm -hmm. Now, these, these folks, what they did was, once Haiti won its independence, now remember there were, there were two major Haitian uh, 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 generals, that was uh, um, uh, General um, uh, Toussaint Louverture, which, you know, he, he was more sort of Europeanized, he, he was more hopeful that the, the uh, French basically betrayed him because he, 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 he went to meet with them. He thought that, you know, perhaps, you know, he could, he could become the, um, the, sort of the feudal lord of Haiti on behalf of France, you know, uh, get rid of slavery but be a black leader. And, and Fr France was not having that. They didn't, they didn't want uh, the idea of a country being a uh, black-ruled colony was, it's impossible to even think with the plantation mind. But then, you know, when they kidnapped Toussaint Louverture, who wanted that, that, that model, black rule colony, mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Toussaint, uh, uh, Jean-Jacques Dessalines and the indigenous army rose up. They, the Europeans did not expect that. They thought that they could destroy and kill and, uh, and demoralize the Haitians by taking off the head, which was Toussaint Louverture, who, mm -hmm. who, who in essence wanted something a little less than full, full independent universal freedom. He, he, he wanted to rule Haiti on behalf of France, but have black liberties um, uh, 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 and end chattel slavery. But Joseph Dessalines and the indigenous army who followed Toussaint Louverture said, we want a black ruled independent nation. Mm -hmm. Today, I, I want to point out very quickly to folks that it is Toussaint Louverture's model that has gone all over the world. Now, they killed Toussaint Louverture for it. He wanted to be a black ruled colony of France. Today, all of the various African leaders are feudal lords for some European country. So they, they took, you know, they had killed him for it. But then when, 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 when Jean-Jacques Dessalines ro rose up and said, I want to be black-ruled independent country, that was totally unacceptable. And the, the, in Haiti what happened is that the, 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 the sons of France, the generals that Jean-Jacques Dessalines had made a, a, a truce with, two years later 
they got together and they murdered him. And that was in 1806. And since then, the oligarchy in Haiti, along with, because by then, all of the European powers who had been fighting amongst themselves realized that if they did not all get together against the blacks, then they would all lose their colonies. So they all came against Haiti. And that's been our, we've had neocolonialism since 18. Oh, sick. And it, it has come in the form of, at first, ecclesiastic neocolonialism, and now we have the UN occupation today. So, so um, just, just to give you an example of, of how the, the paradigm um, of what's going on in the world today um, is something that Haitians know very, very well. Um, and so we have, like you said, the trafficking of children. Because in a, in a society where the government has been taken down, there's nobody there to protect Haitian dignity, Haitian sovereignty, Haitian safety. Yes, and uh, sister, uh, what is, uh, because I also by research, I came to find out that the reason why the Western companies and administrations are over there is that Haiti is is one of the countries on this moment with a lot of oil and also gold and all these kind of things. And also they came to find out that Haiti has a, what they call a spiritual guilt, gate to another world. Have you heard of that? I don't know specifically about the spiritual gate to another world. I can tell you what I know that the, the Haitian Mambos and, and priests and priestesses believe. I can tell you the, what the Haiti's name mean. Um, uh, first, let me say that you can go to my website and you can get the facts about Haiti's riches, mm -hmm. how, how, how we, we, we are within the, the oil-rich Caribbean Sea. There's oil in Venezuela, and there's oil in, in Cuba. We lie in the same waters. We have the same resources. Mm -hmm. But the United States has strategically denied it because they are exploiting it behind um, this strategic denial. Mm -hmm. but, but the information is out there. As a matter of fact, um, some uh, geologists confirmed there was oil in Haiti for the very first time right after the earthquake. But it's like they, they were confirming there's, there's, there's you know, resources in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. When everybody knows there was always resources there, it's just that um, that strategic denial and the colonial narrative allows folks to better profit. Um, with reference to spirituality, what I can say is this. Africans are aboriginal to the world. Mm -hmm. And um, before the Europeans uh, uh, got out of their Middle Ages where they were destroying each other and, and actually found there were other people in the world, mm -hmm. and then, then they, they came to do what they were doing to each other to the world, and that hasn't stopped. Before then, um, um, in world history, uh, Africans, uh, like I said, were aboriginal to the Americas. And I can tell you only Haiti's history, and I'm sure that, that it's a universal history. Mm -hmm. um, the name IET uh, was recognized by the Africans who were brought enslaved into the Haiti. When they came in, they, the, the word Ayi means my home that's in Africa, in an African language. And so they recognized that this was something that they had named at some point in their own evolution. Mm -hmm. So most Haitians, especially voters, will tell you Aiti Toma, my secret homeland. Mm -hmm. so, so, and in those mountains, they found hieroglyphics of their own people that were there and, and, and understood um, that there was some there was a connection to their uh, their most direct energies. And so uh, 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 Haiti is a spiritual land for Haitians, 
and and uh, well for the Africans who became Haitians in in what what has been called the land of the Tainos. Mm -hmm. But before the Amayans, before the Aztecs, before all of those uh, uh, sort of Mongolian uh, uh, Native Americans, mm -hmm. I, the, the, the history of the world, which is not um, uh, uh, brought to fore by the European made-up history, is that Africans uh, uh, were in the Americas. And, 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 and because our cosmology is this, out of primordial space came two, that is Haitian cosmology. It's, it's called Le Marassa, Le Mor, et Le Mystère. Mm -hmm. and, and once you understand that, you understand most things about Haitian Vodun. So I will, I, I will tell it to you very quickly. Out of primordial space, and primordial space is called, for Haitians, uh, graphically say it's Ambadlo. Literal meaning of Ambadlo is uh, underneath the waters. Out of primordial space or from underneath the waters of, of, of the primordial womb came two. And that two is the sacred twins. Haitians always speak in more than on one level. They, you, you can take this literally Mm -hmm. but, but but Haitians don't take it just literally because they understand things on a different conscientious level. Mm -hmm. But for those who can only enter literal, then enter there, okay? Mm -hmm. So out of primordial space came two. There is what we call the Haitian veves, which are hieroglyphics or signs or forms that are only spoken at Haitian ritual ceremonies where they're calling in those two. Mm -hmm. And once you call those two, then you have called all that was or will be on planet Earth because the Haitian metaphor is one and one is three. Very powerful, and it stands for Le Mahasa, mm -hmm. the twins, the dead, and the mystères. Le Mahasa, Le Mort, Il est mystère. One and one is three. That is the mathematical, that is the spiritual, that is the metaphorical, allegorical, cosmological underpinning of Vodun. Now, what is the two? Some, some, some might say the yang and the yang if they, if, if they understand that sort of language. Some might say uh, the mother, the father, and then the son. Mm -hmm. or the mother, the father, and the children. Mm -hmm. Some might say past, present, and future. Um, 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 essentially, it's all of that. And, you know, I, I like to say what the Tao Te Ching said, the name that can be named is not the eternal name. Um, 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 so, 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 so we don't stick to all of the literal. We say that in the beginning came two. I'm going to stay with just one example mm -hmm. and say the out-breath and the in-breath. Mm -hmm. The out-breath and the in-breath gave you some sort of three, a creation. Mm -hmm. And that creation is who in, you and I are. And for Haitians, le marasa, le mort, et le mystère, the twin, whether it's the in-breath, the out-breath, the female, the male, their their their, un, their unity makes a third, and uh, whether it's male, female, and a child, you know, all of the religions came from Haiti, uh, uh, Vodun, mm -hmm. and you can recognize. I, I don't have to explain to you how to recognize, you know, the the Christian one where they just took out the female. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, 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 I don't have to, you know, give you examples of, 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 of but, but all of the major religions came out of this indigenous religion. And, and the bottom line is this. Today, for instance, I'll tell you how concrete it is for me, how concrete it is for Haitians who are on the ground at the moment. You have Lili Gedeo, they're calling the Gedes, the Gedes of the dead, mm -hmm. okay? They're calling the dead because we have such a relationship with the dead. Mm -hmm. um, that remember I told you 
being being gone and now ha and, and we call them we don't call them dead I don't know the the, the in, English word for it but it's like Tanupaweyo those we don't see mm -hmm. so right now we have had over a thousand cholera cases since uh, in the three weeks that cholera has started okay mm -hmm. so death is everywhere around us we have a one point eight million people since the earthquake ten months ago mm -hmm. who are living in tarps, tents and sheets. They are dying too. They are suffering. We have three hundred thousand people that died right before. We have more people dying. So today we're calling Sanubaweyo, right? Those we don't see, for the for the energy to handle what we have to handle this moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, that those we don't see, okay, out is ours. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's our parents, our mother, our father, and we know uh, that they want good for us, mm -hmm. that they want the midst. So we go to that energy, not really Gideo. And so not really Gideo today, we're calling the all of the warriors from 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 the beginning of time, from Le Mahasa, Le Mor, et Le Mystère. Mm -hmm. Because a Haitian who's a Vodouist stands never alone but with that line behind them. Mm -hmm. And and that's why we're still here. That's why the Europeans can't destroy us, mm -hmm. because how we live is important because we have to answer to le marassa, le mont et le mystère. And so 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 there is a um the Lord of the cemetery, we're calling for them, we're calling all of those that stood up and no longer are here that brought us the Haitian Revolution, and we're saying we need the strength, we need the same, the same uh, courage and force that we had back in 1791 and 1803 and November 18 to get rid of these parasites who want to feed off of our misery. Mm -hmm. okay. and, 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 and so I just told you the Le Marassa, and you can go to my website and learn more about this information. Also, learn, learn more about my Haitian name, Esli Danto, what it means. Um, Les morts are the dead. So, so basically, in terms of figuratively, this is how it works. Mm -hmm. So two came, and out of two, you have the children. So Les Marassa, and then you have the children. When the children died, they became the Les morts. How they lived, how they lived, would determine whether they will become the mysteries, those that we call on. And so, so the, for instance, in the Haitian Revolution, there was only one who became the mystery. It wasn't Toussaint Louverture. It was Jean-Jacques Dessalines. So, 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 the 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 ultimate in Haitian honor is to live so courageously that your children remember you. And the entire community remember you so that you are elevated into what the Catholics would call a, a saint, mm -hmm. what the Haitians call a mystery. Because your archetypical energy it is, is so connected to the universal goodness that it, it, it is an irreducible essence. Mm -hmm. okay. So, for instance, that, that's what the mysteries are about. So, right now, they're calling on the purest form of energy, the calling on the loas, they call them, the mystères, and, and the purest form of energy because that, that energy was an energy that has always been remembered from the beginning of time, and they're calling on that energy to give them the courage to face what they have to face. Okay. Uh, sister, uh, sister Asili, uh, the, the name, exactly how, <clears throat> the name, do you speak the name out, Isili of or Isili? Esili. Esili Danto. Esili Danto. Uh, Miss Esili Danto. Uh, for tonight, uh, just like we, we agreed already, ladies and gentlemen, um, sister, sister Esili Danto is going to come back for a second part to inform us uh, about what is happening on Haiti and about spirituality. That we will do soon within a uh, a few weeks we will tell you in time uh, what date we will uh, be broadcasting this show with uh, with C-Star uh, SLE. 
because uh, for tonight I think we're going to finish. And Sister Esile, you have a few minutes to say something last to the people. And for that, I want to thank you all for the, that you have come to inform us about what is happening. Go along. And, and, and from my heart, I thank you for inviting me. I thank you for your interest. I thank your listeners for being interested in, in the true story about Haiti. Um, and I would encourage those who are interested about more, just go to esli.to.com and also go to the blog for and um, so that the next time we talk, if there is going to be any sort of questioning, you will know who yes. esli.to is and why, you know, I was given that name, what it means, and um, some more about, you know, what's going on with the cholera, why Haitians are, are on the streets, and why the, the CNN is saying and UN is saying it's political, when in fact um, there is, there is uh, evidence. Okay, we we'll have talk about <laughs> Yes. Yes, yes, yes. We can talk about all of that. But okay. just go to my website if you learn more, want to learn more. EsliDantalBlog, EsliDantal.com. Okay. Sister Esli Danto, I want to thank you for tonight to join us and to inform us about Haiti. Soon I'll, uh, we will talk again back on Capella Radio and invite you for the part two of this show, the Avatar Conspiracy and but I'm going to explain next time why also I give it this name because there is a lot of parallels between the movie and what is happening on Haiti. For tonight, thank you, thank you very much, and uh, I'll be talking to you soon. You're most welcome. Okay, thank you, sister. Okay, bye bye. bye, -bye.